guys. I'm back. I uh, am looking for my cake recipe because I swear I had one and I've lost it. But there's like a million cake recipes online and I figure I have like the things that go into cake so I can probably just find them. Um, it's only part of like the overall creation today so it's not going to be a really big deal. How are you guys doing? Cupcake time. Yeah, so we're doing chocolate cupcakes. They're chocolate caramel cupcakes, and I'm gonna try and frost and decorate them. Now, the problem that I've foreseen with my plan so far is that, um, well, a couple problems. But the first problem that I foresaw with my plan is that in order to frost cake, you need it to cool. And um, not only does that take like some time, but it's, it's once again quite warm in here. I'm gonna do my best to not like be blowing this wet, but we're gonna find out. Um, play, wow. No, 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 we're making cupcakes. I have a plan. You can't distract me from my plan. So I'm gonna find a cake recipe. We're gonna get started like right away because I would like to um, to get started right away. Um, I think I have everything set up, although I had a list of things that I wanted to do before I started today and I made it like halfway through before I ran out of time, so I'm probably forgetting something. But you guys wanna know one thing that I, I got that I thought was gonna be really good and it turns out is not gonna work? So you know how like last time I'm like attached and if I try and like spin around, all of a sudden it's like no good. Um, I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get an extension cable. So I got this great, it's like six feet long. Um, it's in my hair. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great big long um, four and a half mil audio extension cable. And when I plug my mic into it, it doesn't work. So, uh, yeah. So much for that plan. I managed to not hit my cat. Uh, so I'm going to put on my apron. Um, I would thought about just clipping this to like the dish rack here, but I don't know how well you guys are able to hear me, and um, we'll see. I'll, I'll wing it as I go along. Uh, it seems like the clip on mic is not picking up. Is it not? Can you guys not hear me? With your mic on, you seem a little quiet. Mm. Um, let me turn the mic up. Uh, how's that? Just let me know if it gets too loud. If I start like peeking and headphone users have to cry, then we don't want that. Um, the other thing, the other thing I'm gonna do, Check me out. Check me out. Oh, oh, oh. I got an apron. I got an alliance apron. No wow. No, I'm not gonna play wow today. I play wow on Fridays. Fridays. 3 p.m. Fridays. Today is not Friday. Today is Tuesday. But yeah, check this out. Ugh. You can hear you? Okay. Well, if it's too loud, then let me know and I can turn it down. But there's no like other sound that it really needs to compute with my voice, so I guess I can be as loud as I need to. Kitty, what are you doing in the kitchen? You never come in here. I can't tie this by myself. Uh, Kitty, help! Oh, she's leaving. She's not a very good help. Alliance for life, yeah. I mean, I could have gotten a word one, but who would do that? So, ugh. That should do. My cat does not know what I'm doing here. She has no idea. So I need to real quick decide on a cupcake recipe. This one looks like I have all the stuff for it. This is just from um, all recipes. I mean, I just need a chocolate cake recipe. I haven't, um, oh yeah, I was going to put this back on me. I have not... I should keep an eye on it to make sure it's not like peeking. I have not made a cake from scratch since I was like 11. Um, I've just been making cake mix cases, cake mix cakes my whole life because why not? They're really easy and they taste good. Um, but this is a baking stream and we will have no cake mix here. Uh, when did I get my tattoo? I got my tattoo like five years ago, six years ago? A long time ago. Um, I was 19, so I guess that would be five years ago. Preheat the oven, do do do, muffin pan, butter, sugar, egg, flour. Uh, it looks like it would be fine. You know, I guess if they're weird tasting, you guys will never know. <laughs> so just a muffin pan. These cupcakes are pretty good. This recipe is yummy. Very easy, tasty, 30 cupcakes. Nothing exceptional. Well, maybe you just don't like cake in that brand of review. 16 cupcakes, 30 cupcakes. Okay. So this might make too many cupcakes, but that's a problem I can learn to live with. So I'm, I was going to get out... At first I was going to like pre-measure all my ingredients, and then I was like, nobody's got time for that. And then I was going to just get them out of my counter, and then I was like, well, I ran out of time. So I'm going to get them out now. Um, are you married with a cat child? Pretty much, yeah, I am married and we do have a cat child, so we also have a dog child. No human children, but I don't really get plans for that. 24, yeah, 24 years old. Um, although a lot of people think I'm older, but I think it's just because I have no idea. Although I do have gray hair now. 
Um, just like a couple. So I need to get it. Also, um, if anybody um, super chats, not that you have to, but if anybody does and I miss it, please yell at me. I think this thing will make noise. I think that my laptop will make noise at me if it happens, but I'm not 100% sure because I haven't had it set up on this laptop. But it should be the same alert that we have in lab. So, oh, oh, I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you guys. Also, um, I'm sure you would have told me by now, but the audio is like not offset, right? Because last week we had that weird audio problem where like my voice was 10 years ahead of my face or behind, and we don't want that. But yeah, check this out. I got, I got, I got, this big flower thing. So ever since I moved, like when I lived with my parents when I was like a kid, we had these big buckets, big buckets, and we used those for flour and rice and other things like that. And I don't know why I'm opening this, I don't need it. <laughs> and it was really good because you just open up the lid and you'd be able to scoop it out. But ever since I moved out, I haven't had anything like that, and I've just been getting these little tiny paper bags of flour, and every time you scoop it just goes everywhere, and I've been mad for years. And last week, or last month, or recently, since the last stream, I was like, you know what, I'm done, I'm just done and spent $17 on Amazon and got myself a piece of Snapware, it's pretty sweet. Audio synced up fine, dope, thanks. Voice and body and are in line. The flower box looks like the kitty litter box. How do you know what my cat litter box looks like? Also, it doesn't look like that, so I guess you don't know. Put your hand in the flower. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna put some flour in the cupcakes though. So we need flour, baking soda, baking powder. Um, can you, you guys can probably, you'll, you'll tell me if you can't hear me, okay? Um, I'm gonna leave that there while I'm like twirling right baby my steps. Baking soda. Big thing of baking soda. I need to replace that. Baking powder, baking powder, uh, cocoa powder, salt, salt here, butter, cocoa powder. I should have organized cocoa powders. Here, I'll put everything in a line, and then it looks like I planned this. I don't even know if I need sugar. I do need sugar. Okay. Two eggs, some vanilla, some milk. I did not get buttermilk, so I can't use any recipes that use buttermilk. What am I looking for? Vanilla. I think this took me a long time last time. You think I would have put it back? Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Ugh. Oh god. Knocking everything over. I will warn you guys, um, I've been throwing things all day. Like, I took- I had- I had carrot sticks, because usually every day at lunch I'll like slice up a carrot and eat it, because I'm exciting. And I took a bite of the carrot, and then the other half of it just like flew out of my hands like across the room. And then I did the same thing with my apple later. And I've just been throwing stuff all day, so if I throw something at you, it's not because I'm mad at you. Put the kitty in the flower box? I don't pick the cat up in the kitchen because I don't want her to get the idea that she can jump up on the counters. Because so far she hasn't tried to do that. Um, did you check to make sure Nomi isn't hiding around anywhere? Uh, I haven't looked, but he was a pretty big size panda. I think I'd be able to see him. Okay, so flour, baking soda, baking powder, baking powder, cocoa powder, salt, I need to get the butter and the egg, because this is the sugar. Vanilla. No, butter, eggs, not. Butter. Butter. Eggs. Milk. More milk. Okay. Milk. Butter, eggs, milk. I probably don't need all this at once. Preheat the oven. It's gonna get so warm in here. Oh man. Uh, what are we making here? We're making chocolate caramel cupcakes, and you'll see where the caramel comes in as a secret. Um, I'm, we're, we're just gonna start by making chocolate cupcakes, and then once we have cupcakes, we're gonna do all sorts of stuff in them. Um, after you make the cupcake, put a small tin to the top and call it a gotch. Put a small TNT on top and call it a goblin chocolate boom cake. I don't have any small TNT. Do you? Is that a thing that people have? Line a muffin pan. So it says to line a muffin pan with paper or foil liners. I don't have either of those things, so I'm gonna do the other thing that they said where you like grease it with butter and then like tap flour on it. Um, but first I'm gonna measure the butter I need. I need three tablespoons. I don't have a lot of dishes here. <laughs> I probably should have run the dishwasher. Three tablespoons. I just wanna, I, I'm, I'm hurrying a little bit because I wanna get the cupcakes like created so they can start cooling down. I don't have any special ideas for how I'm going to make them cool faster, but we're going to figure it out. So that's the butter that needs to go to the cake. I'm going to take a little bit more butter and we're going to get kind of messy here. Do I really only have one muffin tin? 
Okay, well, I can only make 12 cupcakes tonight. This recipe makes at least 30, so I think I'm also going to do like a 9-inch cake pan and um, also make a cake. We're, we're doing chocolate cupcakes and cake. Apparently. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to kind of rinse these out real quick because I've got some crumbs in them. Penda Baker? Yeah, so this is the first of, oh, I don't need to lean over that part, you're right there. This is the first of two um, baking streams that I'm going to be doing this month. The second one, we're going to be making Mosey's Magnificent Muffins from the Wild Cookbook. And we're going to be doing those on the 19th, which is a Monday. Monday the 19th, like halfway through the month. Um, I figured I would space these out a little bit to give uh, you guys time to want to watch more baking and to give me time to eat whatever I made. Cake is good for kitties. Cake's not good for kitties. We don't feed either of our animals anything but food specifically designed for them. I'm sure like there's some things that are healthy to feed your pets, but we don't really know what they are. And they're kind of picky eaters anyways. The dog, like, I read somewhere that it's okay to give your dog carrots, like little bits of carrot as like a treat, like a crunchy treat. And I read it a couple other places, so I figured it's probably fine. So I like was chopping up my daily carrot and I gave him some. And he takes it like, oh cool! what's this? And he like tries to eat it and he's like, ah, it's chewy. And then he like takes it over to his bed and then like spits it out and looks at it for a while, tries to eat it again, spits it out again. And goes like, I don't know how to eat this. So I had to throw it out because I guess he just can't figure it out. He didn't, he didn't really understand the whole carrot concept, which is a shame because carrots are delicious. I have one every day. I don't think it's actually that healthy. It feels like I'm eating a lot of water, but something. So we're going to take some extra butter. A little bit of flour. I'm gonna get some flour into a regular cheese biscuit. <sighs> so I actually have no idea how long I'm gonna do these for. I would assume that the cupcakes are gonna be like 15 to 17 minutes. The cake pan's probably gonna be like 25 for a nine inch. I'm just gonna stab it with like the toothpicks. I think I have toothpicks. Those are matches. Toothpicks. I'm not gonna stab it with matches. But yeah, I figure I'm just gonna stab it with toothpicks, toothpicks when that time comes. That's a little bit of flour. I'm get these pans already. Uh, I guess you can kind of see. Once, like, I'm going to adjust this camera um, once I have... So I'm just going to carve off, actually, like a tablespoon of this. I'm going to use that. But yeah, I figure I'm going to adjust the counter camera to be more accurate once we're actually decorating the cupcakes. But while I'm just like mixing stuff up, it's not like a big deal. So I didn't think this through. I know I want to like break off a piece of butter and use it to butter the sides of these with my hands and I'll just like wash them really well again afterwards. But it's actually, I didn't soften this butter so it's actually kind of hard. Hi Hazel, you look pretty today, love the apron, thanks! I'm really happy the apron got in here in time. Although I ordered it ages ago, I ordered it before the last baking screen. Uh, but it only just got here fairly recently. Oh, dudes though, dudes! So the guy that runs the Etsy shop that sells the apron, um, it's printing and crafting on Etsy if any of you want to wow apron. But they uh, they said that they're working on, they were also working on cake spinners. So like a Lazy Susan that I could put like a round cake on and spin it around to decorate it. And that's something that I don't have. And that if we're going to continue to practice our cake decorating skills on stream, I'm going to need something like that. So. He said, you know, I can custom print one of those for you. And I'm like, can I, can I have a hazelnut games one? Can we make that? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, you're the best. So I'm coming up. I'm, I need to actually draw the pets because I haven't done this yet because I still have Patreon art to do for this month and next month. But um, I figure it's going to, I want to make like a border around the edge of it. Where's that pan that is? It says hazelnut games and then like little... Battle pets, because when you're when there's like a cake on it, you're only gonna be able to see the borders of it, right? So I figure I wanna make like a little like little battle pets, like a little uh, coastal sandpiper around the edge and like maybe a cinder kitten or something. Um, just going all the way around it so that we can have a custom hazel netting in cake spinner. And it's gonna be really fun. That sounds awesome, right? I started streaming right as I was going through the drive thru at McDonald's, now I want cupcakes. Oh man. I will, um, once I get like the bot of this stream together, I will amalgamate, or I'll, not amalgamate, consolidate? I'll write down the recipe that I used with my full techniques in the description, so if any of you actually want to try making these later, um, the vod for this should be going out tomorrow. 
And I will say that that is the only video I have planned for tomorrow because the other video I was working on this morning will not be done because I'm spending my time right now baking cupcakes instead of actually working on it. Let me get this butter off my hands here. I'm really disappointed that the extension cable for the mic didn't work out because while I can't hear myself, I have a sneaking feeling that the audio quality is not what I want it to be. But we're just gonna live our lives. I wanna look into a wireless lavalier mic setup, but um, I have thoroughly spent my budget on hardware upgrades for the month. It's gotten a little bit out of hand, so I need to, I need to chill on shopping. I did actually set up a Patreon, or not the Patreon, the um, Amazon wish list though, if any of you feel like buying baking presents. I threw a pastry, pastry brush on there. I couldn't really think of a lot else. I think I put a wireless mic set on there. It's a cheap one though. I don't know how much I have to spend to get a wireless mic that works. I don't need a lot of range. I need like a four foot range. I just need it to be wireless. It's fine? Okay. Alright, I will trust you. If you say it's fine, then it's fine. But I'm probably going to go back and watch this vlog later and be like, it wasn't fine. I should have been plugging and unplugging myself, so. We're buttering plus flouring, because I read about that on the internet. And that is how I learned how to do everything, is on the internet. For God King Scoball? Yeah, does God King Scoball like cupcakes? Because I can pick them up. So, people keep suggesting that I, like, mail cupcakes to somebody, like pick a winner or something, or not cupcakes, but just like a thing that we make in particular. And I will say, actually I might need this later, I'm just going to leave that the counter. I will say that while I don't have any plans to do that this week, I'm open to the idea, and after I've had a month or two to get used to mailing out the little Patreon art cards that we're going to do starting in July, I'm, I will be less afraid of mailing stuff and uh, more likely to do that. So there's a couple different models that I might pursue for that, but we'll see. So how many eggs? Two eggs. I should get those eggs, I can put the rest of the eggs back in the fridge. Egg number uno. Egg dos. I don't speak Spanish, I don't know why I'm trying. Also, how much milk are we going to use? One cup of milk. Let's get that. I don't need any boiling water or anything. Somebody's used boiling water, but I don't think this one does. So I'm going to do something kind of dumb and, and use a dry measure to pour milk into a liquid measure, because it's kind of annoying to measure just a single cup of this thing. It's not very accurate. Hazel, can you try saying... I mean, I can try, but there's a 0% chance I'm going to get that right. I... I... I have yala yokel. We're going to go with that. I tried. One. One. No. Oh, I love having an apron. I don't even need one. I don't really care about getting flour in my clothes. I just feel like super chef mode. No. Alright, we're gonna need that later. The rest of the milk's in the fridge. I should probably have like a tiny bowl for my eggs so that they don't just roll off into oblivion, but. Okay, now what? These are for later. That is fully preheated. My recipe's over here. Uh, preheat the oven. Get the thing. Sift together flour, baking powder, baking soda, cocoa, and salt to set aside. I need a mixing bowl. Do I have a mixing bowl? I have a fruit bowl. Oh, I have a mixing bowl in um, my dishwasher, which I didn't run. So I'm gonna wash a mixing bowl real quick. Sorry. <laughs> I used this when I was mixing up my, my Parmesan coated um, cauliflower, which is, I promise it tastes better than it sounds. But I do this thing where I like roast cauliflower in like olive oil, sea salt, and Parmesan. And then I, so you roast that for a while. And I serve it on top of couscous with like more Parmesan and then oddly enough soy sauce really, really lights it up. It's not a very colorful meal. But it's nice and light for those nights that you don't really want to eat a lot, but you know you need to eat something. Otherwise, your mother would be upset if she found out. Hang on, I got I can't. I can't read while I'm doing this. You know, I don't really care about spilling flour in my clothes, but I do often splash water on myself when I'm washing dishes. 
that. Maybe it'll be nice to not have like a wet front from just like splashing everywhere. Roasted parm cauliflower? Yeah, no, it is good. It's really easy too. Um, I just do the cauliflower, so like toss it in like some olive oil and sea salt, and then roast it at 375 Fahrenheit. I usually do that for like 30, 35 minutes. I guess it's not really roasting, it's probably not hot enough, but bake it at that, just like on a big tray on parchment. And uh, yeah, throw that on top of some couscous. We just get these little boxes of couscous that you just make on the stove top. Uh, say, I don't even know, I don't know how to read Cyrillic. <laughs> I couldn't even begin to start saying that. My mom says that to me before I go to sleep. So I was late, what was it, the two eggs chilled on the counter? I'm gonna use those to make cake. Um, I just haven't gotten that far yet. So. I need some water. Alright. Flour, baking powder, baking soda, cocoa salt. Sifting. I have a sifter. Ugh. I got this thing for like three dollars. I don't even know where, but years ago. It's awful. <laughs> I wish it was just a big basket I could just shake, but this is what we're gonna have to do. How much flour? One and a third cup flour. With my handy dandy. Actually, I guess I should put this in. Handy dandy big flour bucket thing. Let's just do one. Dry this one off. Xavius does no longer benefit us other than to balance power. I keep I feel like I'm coming into all these conversations halfway, and I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no idea. That thing is my childhood. Oh, this thing. I I was confused for a second. I was like Xavius? He hasn't been out that long. One and six gallons. This is butter on it. It's like, why is it? Three? The reason I'm washing the same knife over and over again is because I need to run my dishwasher today. At least I have a dishwasher. Oh. One cup. It's got like a little crank thing, but I usually just shake it. Lightning. My third cup. Is this third cup or that half cup? I think it's a half cup. I hate it when they print them on it with, um, they print the denomination in, yeah, it's probably half cup. But I hate it when they print the denomination in like really cheap ink. So before the thing is a year old, you have no idea how many, how much it is. But when they like engrave it, that's better. Quarter teaspoon baking soda. I'm gonna try and pay a little extra attention because knowing how um, knowing how airheaded I am when I'm playing WoW on stream, uh, a specific example would be getting myself turned around in um, the Eye of the Shara on my Blue Master last Friday. This is a quarter cup or quarter teaspoon part of your baking soda. I I will mess this up, and if I mess this up, it's really bad because you can't just like mess with baking mess. I mean, you can, but I don't know what to do, so I'm not gonna. Two tea teaspoons of baking powder. So I'm giving it more, you guys, for like two minutes ugh, until I get this sort of One. Two. Baking powder. Cocoa. Three quarters of a cup. So I guess I could get that half cup of, no, that's for Half cup. I don't know why I'm clapping. I don't say. I haven't had anything around to eat for dessert. Uh, not that I eat dessert every day, but I haven't had anything around for dessert for a while because um because I've been knowing I know that I was gonna make I knew that I was gonna make these cupcakes on Tuesday and it's like I can't just like make cookies and then have cupcakes too. This is way too much stuff. I'm never gonna finish it in time. And there's nothing sadder than watching baked goods die. Unless they're dying in your mouth, but that's a different issue. So I need three quarters of a cup, so one half cup. I don't know how to do math. Math wasn't like my strong point in school, but it wasn't really a weak one either. It was just something I had to do, but it was boring. So, uh, 
I think I started getting bad at it once I hit like high school, like twelfth grade level, just because I stopped caring because I didn't practice half cup or study or whatever they call it. Quarter cup. Also, I have a related story that I'm gonna tell you. This not to, not related to math. I'm related to cooking and baking. Once I finish this quarter cup, after this we just have to get the salt. I'm making a huge mess. But that's not fix up later. I'm incapable of handling cocoa powder without just like staining everything. Yeah. <laughs> I probably could have just dumped it all in the bowl and whisked it anyways. I don't think it really matters when I'm sifting it, but I'd rather have done it than have something to blame for when the salt goes away. So salt, I mean an eighth of a teaspoon? Who has an eighth of a teaspoon? I'm just gonna do a little bit. I guess I can use my quarter teaspoon to fill a half bowl. Eighth of a teaspoon. Who says that? I think at that point it's just a Say, judging by the by the the top is wider, so I need to go a little more than halfway vertical. There we go. I'm just gonna dump it in there. Salt. All right, I got dry ingredients. And the rest of this cocoa out of here. All right, that works. Get it. So yeah, the um. Related story, if it looks like, I guess you can't tell because my hands are like covered in cocoa, but if it looks like they're like, like, bleeding, it's not, I, I'm not bleeding in any way. I haven't had like some kind of tragic cupcake accident. Um, what happened was I got some food coloring because I wanted to color the, I got some food color because I wanted to color the icing once we get that far. And I was making sweet and sour sauce last night for dinner, and I decided I would try it some of the red food coloring to make it look, because usually when I make sweet and sour sauce, they're kind of brown, because I think normally they do dye it. Um, so I put a little red food coloring in it to make it a little more orangey, pinky. And I don't know if the bottle leaked or if I just messed it up, but I, uh, I may have stained my hands a little bit all over. And I was sad, because my nails look really nice, and all of a sudden I have just like these giant pink blob stains on my hands. Okay, so I can put away this. I can put away flour. Away. Just want to make some room. Make sure that's. Uh, uh. Why is it only snapping on one hand? Does it need to snap on the other hand? Is this backwards? Did I do this wrong? Is there a backwards? There must be because that was much better. This way. Uh. And then, you know, I think that the original recipe that I was looking at used applesauce because I definitely bought some and there's definitely none in this recipe. So I guess I have some applesauce. Oh, sugar. Sugar flavoring it. Sugar will probably mix the butter. Okay, so in a large bowl, which is going to be our food processor bowl now that we've got our dry ingredients set aside. So check on chat. Uh, hey, little sun master bear. You have a nice tattoo. Thanks. But food coloring in your hair. No. No food coloring in my hair. I was thinking about dyeing my hair. Now that I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to have to go to like, get an office job, I could probably turn it with some crazy color. But I don't know if I want to. I kind of like my hair color. I think it looks nice on me. If I did do it, it would be a very dark, foresty green, and probably not the whole thing, probably just like big chunks of it. I don't think I would go whole head green anymore, but I'm not really committed to it, and I feel like it would be too much upkeep to make it look good. Plus, if I try and do it myself at home, I will stain things, and I don't own this place. We rent. Come on. Got it. Hazel, hello, sup, Drew? Unfortunately, I have to leave already. No worries. There's going to be a bot of this whole stream tomorrow, so you can catch up. I'm going to say no on the floor screen here. I mean, it's not not like 100% up to you, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, butter and sugar. So the two, how much butter? Three tablespoons of butter, which is presumably soft by now because there's a billion degrees in here. Do I need to soften this more? Pretty soft. Eh, we're going we're gonna to roll like this. Three tablespoons. Oh, this is way more, this is way too much. I think I put the wrong half back in. One, two, three tablespoons. Whoops, it is. It's a good thing I have a lot of butter, because I think I'm going to some. Butter there. 
so nervous. I haven't made cake from scratch in so long. Mix my butter and my sugar until it's light and fluffy, and then add the eggs one time. How much sugar? Sugar, sugar, sugar. I swear it was here. Ah, damn it. One and a half. Minutes. So, a half cup, which I might need to wash now. managed to cover one of my half cups in flour and the other one in cocoa powder. I didn't even use the same one. Any frosting? Well, yeah, of course. Who eats unfrosted cupcakes? There's actually a secret, secret, special hazelnutty step in between the, um, the frosting, or the, the, the cupcakes and the frosting, and you guys will find out, but we gotta actually get these things in the oven first. Okay, one and one half cups of cocoa have another knife used to level some kind of shape and set. Half cups. Now this container I got, it's also snapware, but it's a little bit narrow as we find out. I can't quite, like, I have to do things in half cups or smaller increments. Right, one and a half cup of sugar and butter. Sugar and I'll have more time to sit and chat once these are actually in the oven. I have a stool and everything. I also have no idea how long the stream's gonna be. I figure I'm just gonna stream until I'm done. Alright. That might be a little loud. We're gonna move this. We're gonna move this like over here. And it pops from over here. Well, now I can't see it. I just need to remember to move the mic because now it's pointing right at my sink. And that'll be loud. So it's turned into the consistency of snow, which isn't really fluff. I mean, it's like it's fluffy, like snow is fluffy, but I think it's supposed to be like creamed together. Maybe my butter wasn't soft enough. It's pretty well mixed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the other stuff. I don't think it's gonna get really any creamier. Eggs one at a time, and then stir into vanilla. Okay, leave this over here. I'm so awful at breaking eggs. Two eggs. And then we're gonna name three quarters of a teaspoon. I feel like this recipe has been changed in a way that like, it was, the amounts were changed by somebody, like it was halved or doubled at some point in its life and then like cut back down because these are really odd amounts of stuff. Thick snow or thin snow? It was like really fluffy snow. Temperature disparity? Yeah, the butter probably should have been softer. It was like really squishy, so I figured it was gonna be fine, but I probably shouldn't use the microwave a little bit. Uh, good luck on the eggs. Is the butter still hold? No, it was in like really tiny pieces. It looks it looks fine now. I'm gonna find it if it's gonna be a problem later. I think it's fine. Wow. Half teaspoon. And then a quarter teaspoon. Ish. Approximately three quarters of a teaspoon, because one teaspoon is too much. 
So I figure it's fine. I feel like that looks okay. Oh. So how many of you guys got your class months today? Uh, I don't know if it's up actually in EU. I don't know when EU gets their weekly reset. I know NA, like this morning after the service came back up, you're able to go finish breaching the tomb and get your class time. Okay, so I have added the eggs, the vanilla, add the flour mixture, alternately with the milk, and then heat well, okay. Alternately with the milk. Give that a go, shall we? Oh, that really moved. Um, scoop a little bit of that. I'm not going to use too many increments because I'm really lazy and I want to get these going. So I'll make that in. Is that fun to you? Nice. Grazie. You guys got it? I really like doing the lap around dollar on and like stopping in front of everybody that had theirs already. Thank you so much. Dude, the, um, the Broken Shore campaign is so phoned in that once you've gotten past week three, where you can, uh, where you get, like, your new follower, that is the most questing content they're going to make you do. Everything else is, like, one tiny thing to do every week, and you can just, like, go bust right through it. Even the step where you need to do, like, a Legion Order Hall mission, you only have to do one. One. So you can get, you can do it all today. You can absolutely log on and do it all today. I'm probably going to do it in my month this afternoon. Hey, late night productions. I'm doing great. I make cupcakes in my sweet new line saver. Oh, I feel so cute. The milk with a little like. Here, I'll give you a. I'll give you a batter can. Chocolate batter on my on my thing. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, Death Knights and Paladins get such great lore. Wish they were all like that. Yeah, the priest one was just sad. Even the end step of it, they're like, oh, there's some things in this vault, and it looks like one of us is corrupted. And I'm standing there with like tentacles coming out of my shoulders, like, yeah, I betcha. <laughs> That's probably true. Okay, so they for 15 to 17 minutes, um, and I would assume that my Cake pan needs probably like 25-ish, maybe more. It's like a little nine-inch cake pan. We're just gonna keep an eye on it. But the cupcake should only need 15 and 17, so let's take this down. Let this goop for a second. Maybe scrape it off with like that knife. I'll move this out of the way so we have a better view with the counter pan. You know what I wanted to set up for the royal, or for the, the baking strings was like some royalty free music. Because normally when I'm cooking something, I'm just like bumping along in my kitchen. And it's hard to do that when I can't listen to anything, but the stream has to go up on YouTube, so I need something that I can I can have on my YouTube video without like demonetizing me. Is this good? Yeah. That's good. It tastes exactly like you want chocolate. Actually, it's, it's a little bit um, chocolatier than most chocolate cake batters that I've had. It's almost like, um, it's like a candy bar almost. My mom is missing this dude. We're, I'll put the bot up tomorrow. I'll put it up tomorrow morning. And I will try and have my recipe as well in, in the description. Okay, so this can come up. <clears throat> Come back. The 
now that I have those wireless headphones, I can actually use them with my phone as well as my computer. So I'll just like put my music on my phone, and I'll come out here, and I'll be just like chopping carrots and trying not to slice my finger off while I'm like dancing. I need a spoon. Spoons are the one thing that we never seem to run out of in cutlery. Like we're always low on forks and we're sometimes low on knives. Oh gosh, that's loud. But I'm not, I'm not really low on spoons. Doesn't really happen. All classes of the same type can use the mat once you unlock it. Um, my 4400 is sitting on the class button in his in, instrument. Oh, classes of the same type. That's nice. So if I made a pre salt right now at level 40, I'd be able to actually ride that thing. That's awesome. That is exactly what I want. So I've been told I should put these things like half full and not quite three quarters. Oh, so I'm just going to glob like a good size spoonful into each of them and then go back and see. I think this is going to be way too much batter for one muffin tin. And I only have one muffin tin. So I'm going to go back and maybe make the one of that cake my cake tins as well. Keep an eye on the baking time. It's gonna be fun. But yeah, um, I think it's kind of it's kind of weird how some classes they unlock a base color, but then if they want the recolors of them, they need to complete they need to get fifty two traits and concordance of legion fall on those specs. Like, so if you're a paladin, you get a horse, but if you want the different all the colors of the horse, you need to get concordance on all three of your weapons. Whereas me, I'm a priest, I just get them. Um, I have, like, no traits in discipline and, like, 30-something traits in holy. But I can just switch my spectrum from shadow to dis and holy, and I just get those other colors. Which is cool for me, but a little unfair for them. But, on the other hand, I don't have any, like, cool extra stuff. Like, I don't get, like, a as a priest, we don't have, like, the toy, like, the mage flying saucer toy, or the extra pets, like the death knights get. Or, um... Any of that good stuff. So these are, this is like a lot of batter left. <laughs> I'm not going to fill these too full because I want, I don't want them to be like cupcakes. Or sorry, they are cupcakes. I don't want them to be like muffins. I don't want like big muffin tops in my cupcakes. This one could use a little more. This one could use a little more. Whatever I have left, I'll just stick in my cake pan and whatever kind of cake it gives me, it'll be fine. Even if it's like a really weird shaped cake, I can always break it up and serve it over ice cream. Whew. My favorite thing to do with cake that's like, gotten kind of dry in the fridge, like it's not bad, but it's not really great anymore, is I will like freeze it and then break it up into like cake crumpets and then serve that over like a vanilla ice cream. And that's pretty good stuff. I don't know how much I should be doing. I think I'm, I think I'm doing too much now. I think I've gone too far. I just want them all to be even. All right. Well, that's that. That's like... I think I should be doing this with a cloth, but I'm just going to use my fingers. <laughs> if you give Kitty cake batter, will she transfer into how and become your metal foot? I don't think giving my cat chocolate cake batter is a really good idea. I'm sure she thinks it's a good idea. Whenever we have anything like dairy, like if you're having like milk or ice cream or yogurt, you know, like whipped cream on your dessert or something, cat is all up in your business and she wants some, but we don't let her have any because... Um, cats are naturally lactose intolerant, and even if she thinks it's delicious, and it won't, like, kill her, it will give her an upset tummy. This is going to be not enough for, like, a whole thing. We're going to find it. I wish I had a rubber thing. A spatula. I don't have these rubber spatulas. I was meaning to order one, and then I didn't. Okay. Yeah, there's, like, way more in here. Also, my hands are, like, covered. This is the wrong way to do this. I can't eat chocolate either. Oh, that sucks, dude. It makes me feel better. It's only one of like a great number of awesome flavors in the world. Can you have white chocolate? Like white chocolate's not the same thing as chocolate. Like it's not even real chocolate, right? I have a, a slipper that's like made of the same stuff.
Sorry, I had to make sure I didn't have any chocolate on my face. That would be very embarrassing to just continue streaming with just like a giant smear of chocolate on your nose. I would do that. That sounds like me. So, cupcakes look good. This looks like not enough batter. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Doesn't seem like it's gonna do much. But the good news is that might mean it cooks faster because it's gonna be like a chocolate pine cake. I'll figure out what to do with that later. But I'm gonna bake it. Um, so. We're gonna do like 15 minutes. We're gonna check them after that. And in the meantime, I'm going to clean up and I'm going to grab my stool and jack. Okay, so I need to grab you guys. Oh, we're all Also, don't eat things in the rugs in the kids. You can get sick. If I get sick, I'm going to really be kicking myself for this later. So, I'm going to scoot this a little bit just while I'm dishes in. Also now if somebody comes in the door behind me, you can see and be like, ah, Hazel, you're going to die. Because nobody should be able to come in that door. <laughs> the only person who has the key is working for another, I don't have a clock, but like a lot of hours. Hey Hazel, I can't eat white chocolate either. Oh, no Hazel. You can't eat white chocolate either? Oh man, that's a bummer. So what do you like for dessert? <laughs> what do you have instead that's like the best thing that wrapped your world? Fruit? Like fruit and some like whipped cream, a little bit of icing sugar, and yeah, some good stuff. That one. These guys. I feel like I need a glass of milk just because of all the chocolate cake that I had. Wow, at here. Oh, it's 23.47. So that would be like what? 10? 11, 11, almost midnight. Almost midnight. I'm not used to reading a 24 hour clock. I was at one point. I'm trying to remember where I was that was using a 24 hour clock. I want to say it was music camp. I went to a summer, like, musician boot camp once as a teenager, and I think they ran on 24 hour time. I'm not 100% sure. That was, that was some stuff. Music kids, they're, they're intense. Has your husband ever been one of your vids? Um, He's like made very small appearances when like it can be avoided. Like he very briefly shows up in the one where I, sh I, sh I show my dog like trying to howl. He very briefly shows up in the kitty vlog um, when we first got the cat, like where I had a lot of video for the kitten. Uh, he's in there playing with her as a kitten, but for the most part, he likes to he likes to keep to himself as far as videos go, and that's totally fine. I have knowingly and under my own Volition given up a lot of my privacy by putting my face online so publicly, and I totally understand that not everybody wants to do that. So I do my best to not push him on camera unless it's absolutely necessary. Hi Hazel, happy baking day! So let's see better. How are you doing? Don't mind me, just like trying not to drop his last bowl. You'd think I would need more mixing bowls, because I really only just have that one and then the one that comes to the kitchen aid. But I've never really run into a situation where I'm like, man, I need more bowls. Like, I also have that little, like, the little glass Pyrex liquid measure. And I feel like between the three of those pretty good. Pretty good. So the reason I'm washing everything is because we're going to need some of this later. Once, um, once the cupcakes are, like, cool, we're going to have some decorating to do. So I figure I'm going to wash the dishes. Grab a drink, sit down, chat for a little bit. Once the cupcakes come out, we have our secret middle step that makes them caramel. But I will show you once we get there. Hang on, I need, I need, I need full concentration for this. Two seconds. Okay. And then 
encounter is just tragic. I normally wear rubber gloves when I'm like washing dishes and wiping everything down so that my hand skin doesn't get too irritated, but I don't know either went. I am recovered. Plus, people make fun of me when they see me in my big yellow rubber gloves. They're like, why do you need this to wash dishes? It's just dish soap. It makes my hands all dry. Hazel, so glad I made it, Sam Norma. How you doing? Oh, you guys can't see me anymore. There we go. How are you? How many things have we made from the wild cookbook? Mm. How many things have I made from the wild cookbook? Um, I'm thinking. How did I get cake powder over there? Uh, I made one, two, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of like between 10 and 20 different things. More than 10, but less than 20. Sounds about right. Which sounds like a lot of things, but there's over 100 recipes in that book, so I haven't even really gotten into it. And there's a lot of them that are meat focused that I'll never do because I'm not really a meat eater. <laughs> so. 10 to 20. I've been working through a lot of the bread based ones and the baking ones, but there's a lot of entrees that are really good too. Tadgar wants to kill me. He sent me to get hidden treasure chests. It makes you walk off cliffs and all. Yeah, that stuff was bad, but I found it's actually like when you actually sit down and you go out looking for those things, it doesn't take that long to find them, and all of the other steps are less annoying, I promise. The last step was so underwhelming. I couldn't believe it was over. I was waiting for like a big finale quest line, and there just wasn't one. It's like, they're like, kill 100 demons. I'm like, alright, we're ramping up something good. Kill, kill Jaden's little brother's uncle's cousin is gonna come out here and like give me a speech. And they're just like, cool, you're done, thanks, breaching the tomb. I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm done? I'm done? Alright, so I need my stool. So we got like eight minutes left before we get to check on the cupcakes. Isn't this a cool stool? I got this for like $35 on Amazon. It was like really cheap, but it's very sturdily put together. Or like, well, I put it together, but it, it feels very sturdy. So let's see. Let's see if I can actually still read chat. You're kind of, you guys are kind of far away. I have the same dish towel on my stove, like this one. Also, I should fold these better. I always, like, whenever I'm cleaning, I always go through and I'm like, oh, how did I just, like, toss them up there so haphazardly? And then next time I need to put them away, I just toss them up there haphazardly. It's terribly messy. Can't have that. I feel like I need some ice in this. I have, um, did I make more of I did! I have, I have Hearthstone ice cubes. Ugh, hard stone ice cubes. They're really hard to get out of the thing. But the um, the ice cube tray was only like it was only like two or three dollars on sale, of course, like during the spring sale. I got my class going today. Congrats, Gary. I might have blanked and forgot about the stream even after we talked about it this morning. How could you do that to me, man? The, the cupcakes are already in the oven. It's it's not over. It's nowhere close to over. I still have the secret step. And then I gotta make some frosting, we gotta decorate them. Depending on how quickly they cool, I don't know how, like, when I'm gonna be able to do the decorating. I'm hoping I can just do it all in one big stream. But you do wanna let them cool completely. And if this were winter, I would just, like, throw a towel over them and stick them outside. I'm just, like, icing my drink here. I would just throw a towel over them and stick them outside, but it's not winter, it's, like, 30 degrees Celsius out there, which is, like, high 80s Fahrenheit. Hot. Out of there. You have five legendaries, nice. I showed up for the good part, yeah. You missed the part where I twirl around my kitchen in like a flurry trying to get all of my ingredients together and I'd spill everything <laughs> as I mix them all up. How many ice cubes? Oh, how many ice cubes should I this thing? Oh, you guys, you know what you, we could do while we wait? Is we could do a tea cup or tour. I could like talk for way too long about all my different kinds of tea. Um, if any of you follow me on Patreon, there's a new Patreon poll up. I wanted to get advice on what to do with the Sunday video slot because I'm not convinced that I'm going to continue 
with the Battleground series. It's fun, and I like it because it doesn't take me very long to make. And I don't, I try not to work weekends, so I usually get that made like a couple days ahead of time. But it doesn't really get this, like, people don't, not as many people watch it, and I want to do something that more people like. So I have some options that I have up on a folder. My mom, Norma, oh, Norma's your mom, oh, she's being swamped by her cat. Isn't that the best thing? Like, that's just, my cat always wakes me up like that. She'll just, like, curl right up my chest and, like, nap in my neck, being like, don't get out of bed. And I'm like, and now I have to get out of bed. I can't breathe. So. Five minutes on those. I would normally make tea, but it's more, my poor ACs are working as hard as they can over there. I feel like I need my glasses to see all the way over there. Although I don't think my glasses actually magnify that. Um, although I might actually grab them just because I ha there's a big light. You guys can't really see it, although you can see like the glare off the microwave and the, and the, and the fridge. But there's a, um, I've got big softbox lights in my living room, and they're kind of looking at me. Hang on. As it turns out, I can't wear my glasses because I lost them. I don't know where they are. <laughs> Although when I walked into, um, I walked into my office to find them, and uh, I walked into my office to find them, and it's so much cooler in there because the AC is working from there in the bedroom. I found my sunglasses though. These are terrible sunglasses. I want new sunglasses, but I don't have. Um, I don't go outside in the sun often enough to really want to spend money on them. Plus, my budget is like exhausted for now. But these are, like, I got these from Walmart before I moved, so, like, four years ago, five years ago? They are thoroughly bent in a shape that, like, makes them not stick to my face. So if I, if I look down at the ground to tie my shoe, they will fall off. I don't know. know. Alright, summer, mine sheds a lot. My little black cat sheds like crazy. My tabby does shed, but not as bad. My kitty is a tabby, and she doesn't, I mean, she sheds a little bit, but because our dog is like a northern breed um, dog, he's an Alaskan Klikai, so he's like a husky, but he's like lovely, he's like this big. Um, he's looking at me from over on the couch. But because the dog sheds so much, it doesn't seem like the cat sheds all that much. Well, she leaves some hair on the couch if we just roll off, but aside from that, it's nothing compared to the, to the, to the dog. Play Jeopardy music while she's gone. Do you have a special playlist for bath time? Oh, I have a special playlist for bath then. <laughs> well, I have a Pandora station that I specifically put on while I'm having my Saturday bubble bath. Cats are really shedding. Yeah, fluffy puppy. I do have a fluffy puppy. In order to preserve the um, the hygiene and sanitary condition of my kitchen, I'm not gonna like pick up either of my animals in here. Also, the dog hates being picked up. But I will. Um, I'm thinking if I do end up ditching the Sunday video series, I could like the plan if I do ditch it is to. Instead, do like a variety of stuff. So I could do like pet videos where I have like cat footage and dog footage. I could do dumb things where I like give them captions or like make them talk to each other because I do that in real life anyways. Um, I could do tea videos. I could do garden videos if I ever get a garden. Um, I could do uh, like in WoW, I could do like transmog videos where I like I show you guys how to put together. Oh man, there's a camera on there. I show you guys like how to put together some of my favorite transmog sets or like show off a specific pet PvP team. Something that doesn't really need its own video, but just like it's a fun Sunday thing. Um, or if Sunday rolls around and I don't actually have anything to go, like ready to go, I could just like turn on the stream for a little bit in the morning and like have messy Sunday morning hair and no makeup on probably and look awful <laughs> and, um, and, and do like a Sunday mountain run stream. So I was thinking about that. I'm in Arizona as well, send ice. Arizona looks awful. Like, it's hot here, but it's Oregon. I mean, at least it cools down at night for the most part. Um, so we can, like, open up all our windows at night and put on all the fans and get it down to, like, 15 Celsius, 12 Celsius, like, 60s, 50s, 60s at night, um, and then close all the windows up as soon as it starts to get warm the next day. It lasts for a while. I was recently 107. That's awful. <laughs> That's so gross. It gets that hot here, but not usually till a little later in the year. If you want cheap, decent sunglasses, check out sunglassspot.com. I use them for concert season. Okay. Um, do they have fashionable ones for ladies, though? Because I don't know if we should match. <laughs> I 
Um, can you tweet me that link so I can have it later? Because I'm never gonna I'm never gonna remember it if we just leave it here. I like they've been branching in your post easel. I like your ranged melee legendary posts. I'm glad that somebody liked those. I wasn't sure. Um, I was like gonna do one big video on the new legendaries, and it was gonna be way too long. And I was like, I can't I can't finish this today. I'm gonna break it up. That run Sundays. Yeah, it wouldn't be every Sunday though. Is the thing is I don't want to commit to like a thing. Um, and I don't want to commit to streaming every Sunday because sometimes Sunday comes around and I just want to do nothing. <laughs> I want to not stream and not make videos and not go outside. I just want to like read a book and play WoW by myself. So I don't want to commit to it, but I would be open to it sometimes. So I think about that. Looks like my timer is about to go off, so I'm going to stab a cupcake with um, a toothpick and see if we're ready. Yeah. Or if we're ready to take that advice. So, toothpicks. I wish I knew what I'd done with my glasses. Hazel, love your banking streams and pet battle videos. First time making here. What's up, Amira? How are you? How do I open this? This is going to explode into like a fountain of toothpicks. Oh, there we go. I got it. Yeah. The first time I ask my husband picking up the toothpicks, he comes back home with like those rubber gum things. Oh no, my battery's low. Hang on. Sorry. Hang on. There we go. Apparently my apparently my laptop wasn't plugged in. I have no idea how I did that. Whoops. Alright, so that's not done yet. I'm gonna give that another like three minutes. Three minutes. I could have sworn I had my laptop plugged in. I hope it, I hope this stream looks okay. I had to change. I had to turn it down. I know that the video looked better last week when I did it at sixty frames per second, but um, that was what was causing the audio problem. And I th I don't know if it's because it's trying to reconcile the two cameras or if it's because my poor little five year old laptop processor can't handle it or if it's because my Wi Fi can't handle it. But in any case, I think it's just going to have to live like this until I eventually get a better living room streaming solution, and that's not going to be for a while. Any tips for my, oh, I'm leveling my shaman is 895. Armor? Armor level. Oh, item levels. Um, item levels past 895? 895. At 895, you're still probably getting um, upgrades from high mythic plus. So if you do at least a mythic plus 10 every week, you can, at the end of the week, get a weekly chest that has a 905 minimum piece in it. So those, those might be upgrades for you for a while. I actually got a trinket that I need to sim. Um, I need to boot up SimCraft, and, and I've been really lazy about doing this because I haven't been actively raiding, but I need to boot up SimCraft and run a new legendary belt and figure out exactly what my optimal single target set is. And then I got this trinket. It's like a dis deteriorated construct core. I don't know if any of you have used that, but I got it at 9.05, so I need to sim that and see if it's an upgrade on my own set. This is the oddest stream I've ever seen. What's so weird about it? Where we're talking about, wow, I'm making cupcakes. This is like a weekend for me. I love this line, Maiden of Virtue voice is so dope, but still Lower Kara is such a pain. Lower Kara? Yeah, Lower Kara is gross. Lower Kara is really great if you get, no sorry, not Lower Kara, Upper Kara. If you get Upper Kara in your random heroic, that's the best. Because there's like no trash in Upper Kara when you do it on a heroic, or on a random heroic, but as soon as you get into mythic difficulty, there's like a bunch more to do. Oh man, I hope those are dancing. You have words of your soul? You should trademark Ragnaros, it's hilarious. I feel like somebody already has made like Ragnaros fan art. I don't think I would be the first person to punch on that one. I want to make some iced tea. I don't know, like I have a thing that I can use to cold brew some iced tea, but I don't know which one of these I should do. Maybe this one. I have this, um, I have this, this Vilo, Vilo, uh, Vilo Chen white tea. And um, this one is, it, it tastes kind of like a green tea. It's like a little snail shaped, little snail shaped tea. I feel like that one would be good. It's a nice delicate tea. I also have this, uh, they sent me, whenever I buy tea, they always send me samples, and they sent me, like, this, this gigantic tea bag that is supposedly for making iced tea. It's supposed to make fresh brew passion fruit iced tea, but I haven't actually made it yet. It's been making my cupboard smell like passion fruit for a while, so I have been, like, dragging my feet on that because I don't really want to <laughs> make my cupboard stop smelling like passion fruit. All right, I gotta stab the cupcake skin. Uh, do I just use a new toothpick? I guess so. I haven't done this in a while. I'm also going to use two, eh, I don't need to use two Also, I do, I do need to unplug myself though. I like floral teas for iced tea or fruity. Yeah, the last one I did was floral. It was a really floral oolong. It was like a bench on oolong. 
It was really nice. But I want to make something new now. So the big cake needs more time, or at least another six minutes, because that's when we're close to being done, also it's like weird looking. But the cupcakes, cupcakes are out. So I'm going to get those on I guess I should let them cool in the pan for like a sec for like probably five minutes or so, maybe until, until I get that out, and then I can take them out to cool on the pan. But I don't need to let them completely cool for step two. I need to let them completely cool before I try and frost them. But hopefully we can start getting them cooled down. Passion fruit iced tea is my favorite tea. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try this sometime. Maybe I'll do it right now. Boil two cups of water, pour over a tea bag into a gallon container. Heat for 15 minutes and then fill with six cups of cold water. 15 minutes, goodness gracious. Remove the tea bag and gently squeeze it for over ice and joy. I mean, I'm not doing anything right now. Boil two cups of water. Ugh. I guess I didn't boil like a bunch of water and I measure two cups of water. Oh, I didn't I'm not boiling water for tea in the microwave. I'm not a savage. This will be a chocolate, like chocolate caramel cupcakes plus iced tea baby. Yeah. So I'm boil that and make it a little warmer in here, don't you? And then I have way in the back here. Oh, I do have apple cider vinegar. I thought I lost that. Is this a gallon? No, this isn't. It needs to hold six, it needs to hold eight cups. I think that's the biggest picture I have, so it's gonna have to do. Does this hold eight cups? I guess I'm just going to try and put eight cups into it and see what happens. Oh yeah, the other one's up here. I see that you portioned your cupcakes very evenly. Not. They're not so bad. There's like three or four of them that are a little tall and the rest of them are a little flat. But for the most part, they're fine. That's a bong. It's not a bong. I don't own a bong. I don't do any drugs. I've never done the drugs in my whole life. I, I've never even smoked a cigarette. I'm that lame. Although, cigarettes aren't cool, so I guess that doesn't make me lame at all. There's nothing that irritates me more than people smoking in places that they shouldn't be. Like, there's no smoking signs. They're just sitting there smoking anyways. Like, I care. I don't care about you and your walk. Okay, so. I haven't used this in a while, so I should probably give it a rinse. I need to find out if eight cups will fit in that, and if not, how much. Because this might be a, a little... A little strong otherwise. Ah! This thing pours terribly. Oh yeah, this will totally fit. That's like four cups, so that's only halfway. I'm probably just gonna make this with tap water. We've got really good tap water here near Portland. It always tastes really good. Like we use a Brita filter, but I don't think we need to, honestly. Yeah, so eight cups gets it to like there, which is I think perfect. We'll do that. Actually, heat up this thing though, so I don't accidentally crack it. Cause I don't know if this is supposed to be supposed to make hot tea in this. I've never in my life. I'm pretty sure your measuring cup is bigger than your pitcher. No, no, no. The measuring cup is only four cups. This thing holds at least ten, from what I just learned about it. But yeah, if this chatters, then I will know that I was not supposed to put boiling water directly into it. But I swear I've done it before, and it's been fine. I've never in my life said I need a huge freaking measuring cup. You've never needed to measure more than like four cups or like two cups of a liquid. Like it's good for measuring when you need like one, like two and a half cups or three cups of like milk or something. You just pour it into that thing. I usually I used to have like a two cup one. Those are more standard. But cupcakes are real. Yeah, they're right here. I made them. They're real. But they're not done yet. They're only like a little bit done. We're gonna be here for a while. Although I think those are cool enough for me to get out of the thing. So I'm gonna like find not even a fork. I'm gonna use a little spoon. Also, how did this thing I'm gonna do again? Two cups pour over the tea bag and move out the thing. So I don't know how I'm gonna get the tea bag out of this container later. I guess
guess I could probably just grab it. But we're just gonna, oh man, look how big that tea bag is. It's huge. I really hope this isn't that good because they sent this to me as a sample because they want me to buy it. And I don't want to spend money on iced tea, but if it's really good, we might have to. I guess it's not that, like, it's not that bad if you compare it to, like, buying iced tea out. Alright, so two cups of boiling water. Once that boils, I will need to use this to measure the boiling water because I don't want to do, like, a little one for my hands. Um, and I was going to use a teeny tiny spoon. Where are my teeny tiny spoons at? Oh, there's my boiling water. So two cups. Uh, uh, one. There we go. How long do you want to see this one? Oh man, I'm gonna spill this. Oh, oh, oh man, I'm so good. So good. Alright. So it wants me to do that for 15 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna set that timer on my tablet because that timer's for tape. Oh. Thanks for the link. Thanks for the link, Trigor. Okay. What? Timer. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna completely forget what that is. I gotta put that over there by the thing. My downstairs lady's like knocking on the door, like she doesn't like that I'm in my kitchen talking to somebody at 311. Although maybe she's just putting up a painting, but she has a bad habit of like banging on the ceiling. So, um, let's see. I need to check on Kate. Okay, Kate's done. Let's get out of the game for two weeks. I need to remember where I put these so I don't just like lose them in my kitchen. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one, but we're going to find something. Right, well, I can turn off that. I can this. This one, I'm going to like stick this on this towel. It's not that hot anymore, but I need to put the cupcakes on the thingy. Right, let me throw out my statics before I like drop them on the ground and then stab them through my foot, because I would do that. And I need a little spoon. A little spoon. Plug one of these. You've been in the same guild since vanilla? That's impressive. Put your hands in the kitchen. All of your um, suggestions seem to follow a theme, Wolfie. You're like, all kind of asking me to do something. No one does guild runs? People do guild runs. Make cake pops? I've never made cake pops. That's definitely a good idea for one of the, for one of the baking streams, though. I feel like practicing making cake. Like, this is the first time I made cake from scratch in a long time, so getting some cake and cake decorating practice first is probably going to be a good call. Okay, so we got to get these out of here. Oh yeah, this isn't even hot anymore. Okay. So we just need the cupcakes to get cool. And then, oh yeah, but look at that. That is such a cupcake. We just need them to get cool enough to frost. I'm going to actually put them in the freezer, but not yet. Not yet. There's a step that we got to do next. Alright, so it looks like the whole butter, the pan, and then flour actually look really good. They actually are coming out pretty alright. I love cake pops. I've never actually eaten a cake pop. I see them like in Starbucks and whatever. Not that I go there very often, but I've seen them in coffee shops, but I've never actually had one because I never felt like I really needed to eat a cake pop. It's not very often that I create cake. And usually when I create cake, I'm creating more cake than just a cake pop. Cake pop. Sounds like I'm saying cake pop. Which, while I talk about that a lot, not what we're presently. Oh, this is These are mostly coming out in one piece. Mostly. The spoon is definitely, oh, almost definitely a good problem. I'm losing corners off the bottom a little bit, which is fine. I'm not selling these or anything. These are just for, well, I'd say just for me, but I'm, just, I'm probably going to end up sending some of my husband to work because uh, usually we can't, like, there's only two of us. We don't really eat a lot between the two of us. We're not, neither one of us are, like, really heavy eaters, so it takes us a long time to go through something like this. Sharing, oh, no, that one's just been ruined. <laughs> That one, it needs, like, some surgery. And you know what? That's going to be a problem because we're filling it. I should, I should have used, um, I should have used muffin cups. I completely forgot. Oh, well. Stay the same. 
you have to try Starbucks cake pop. It's like somebody took a cupcake and made it more dense. Huh. Never thought that. Is it like sweeter than a cake? Hazel sending her fans care packages of cake. Oh, yeah. Next, we're going to do our secret, super secret special step. I'm going to do one. This is covered in coconut. Put this back over here. Another disruptor is up. Sivash is the broken straw boss. Oh, good to know, good to know. I need to do that in my month. My month needs to hear from that for sure. Smucker's brand, but all sorts of different people make this. It's just like caramel sauce. It's meant to be put on ice cream with caramel sauce. We're going to take some sweetened condensed milk, and we're going to mix these in approximately a 50-50 ratio. I'm not going to measure because measuring is for nerds, but I am going to just kind of approximate it. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put like probably the whole thing. I'm not going to use all of this for sure, but I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to hold on to half a can of condensed milk. Send me a cupcake, please. Oh man. I haven't even got figured out how to mail you guys postcards yet. You want me to start shipping cupcakes? I'm gonna need to make a big Patreon goal if you guys want cupcakes every month. Those will be the most expensive cupcakes of your life. Too well, like in shipping. These ones are gonna be a little bit more, I'm gonna do that that much, a little bit more moist than most. I'm the OG mod. I'm first in line for any and all things. Um, yeah, you are the OG mod. You are like the OGest of OG mods. It's kind of remarkable that neither one of us has died since you started following us during like years and years ago. You can make leche canada. What is that? I've never heard of that. I think lush means sweet, so I'm assuming it's something dessert like, which would make sense. Ugh, this, thing, this is a brand new thing, so I have to open it. Okay. Hopefully, with that spring caramel sauce over there. Okay. So, roughly 50 50. Mix it all up. I know the swirling is fun, but. You can do this with just straight caramel sauce. You don't need the condensed milk, but I've always found it better. Put your hand in the condensed milk. No, man, no. You can't make me. Alright. That. Get our cupcakes. Cupcakes. So, normally I've never done this with cupcakes before. This could go horribly wrong. But normally, take a wind spin, and you make a little indent in the top of each one. Not very deep, because these are cupcakes. If you're doing that in an actual cake, you can go about halfway down the cake. But these are cupcakes, and I don't want a like, huge, crazy leakage, so I'm just making a little tiny hole in the top of each one. And you can probably see where this is going. Give it a poke. I don't have a good way of doing this, so I'm going to make a cute mess. And you just like put it in. It'll, it'll take some time, but it will go into the cake. It will make sort of the middle of it a little bit more saturated, a little bit caramelly, a little bit sweeter. Also, these will give you the mega diabetes if you eat them really often, so please don't do that. <laughs> please share with other people that also want to eat a fairly sweet chocolate caramel. I'm only doing with a little bit because these are just little cupcakes and I'm trying not to make a huge mess. 
I'm gonna make it medium, that's for sure. This is way too much though. I'm gonna put a bunch of these in the cake as well. Um, and usually I'll go back and do an extra rim because you can see in the, in the first ones it's kind of like sunken in. You could probably use a turkey baster. Yeah, but then you would have like a super sticky turkey baster. Also, I don't own a turkey baster. Um, the only thing I thought of was I could put this into. You know what? I need more hands. I need more hands that are attached to my body. Alright, well most of it's going in there. I don't need all of this. I don't need all of it at all. I just put it all in the bag and then I seal the bag and I'm rinsing off because I made a huge mess. But what I have here now is one, hopefully uh, in one piece and not leaking, plastic sandwich bag filled with caramel filling. Now, I'm going to snip a tiny corner. I probably should have pre-made a hole in the other one first. matter so much how much you put in or if like it goes a little too close to the bottom. Not as big of a deal. Now there's not gonna be like a really big crazy visual effect that happens here because this is pretty much the most you're gonna see of this like condensed milk caramelization step. But I promise you, if you do this, and you don't even have to make the chocolate cake from scratch, you can use cake mix chocolate cake. But if you do this, people will tell you you have the best cake in the whole world. They will instantly want to be your friend. They will bring beer and wine over to your house when they visit. They will say that your dog is cute, even if it's not. And they will appreciate your contributions in the workplace. At least the part of cake that's so I don't think I can possibly fit any more of that, so I think I actually have to put the rest of this out, because what am I going to do with the rest of this? Uh, put your hand in the bag for the now. Uh, I'm messy enough, man. I'm messy enough. So now, I need these to cool. Actually, they're not really warm yet. Is my hand just too warm? I think those are fine to start icing. They're not hot. They're not even warm. Those cool down really fast. I guess those are cupcakes, so I'm gonna start making them up. I'm gonna move these off to the side. I don't know why I'm cleaning my cafeteria every stage because it's just gonna get worse and worse, but that's what we're doing. There's no more 
bacon because thank goodness because it is going to be getting warm in here. What's a poke cake? I don't know what a poke cake is. I mean, I did just poke my cake a lot, so maybe that's a poke cake. Probably something different though. Probably something else. So I'm gonna clean up my counter, and then I actually need to look up an icing recipe. I have everything I need for icing. I decided to go with a buttercream instead of a ganache. Um, but I want to try and decorate with it, and I'll show you my decorating tools in a second. Once I have a counter clip up a little Also, it's almost time for me to get my iced tea out of the thing and then add some cold water to it. But, ready for that. I don't know how I'm really, I mean, maybe I'm going to put it in a fork or like a spoon. You bake a cake and then poke holes in it and you pour gelatin, frost it with whipped cream. Oh, so it's like jello. Okay, so yeah, there is, there is my timer for this thing. So this is just iced tea, but I need to use, I guess I can use the other half of the stem. Get that out of there. It's really hard to hold it up high enough for you guys to see it. Alright, well I'm just going to stop because it's like really full. It's going to be a little stronger than, than intended. But that's fine. I'm gonna put that in the fridge. It's good for later, but it needs my tea color. Look, it's all iced tea color and everything. It's 11:30 p.m. here, and all I want now is cake. And you started your diet three days ago. Oh no! Oh no! I just had a pressed tofu. It's all right. Some diet cake. Diet cake doesn't sound worth eating. I would like. I feel like I would rather just skip the cake altogether, and then like save up some calories in my daily allowance to have like a little bit of cake that's like real cake. I don't know if diet cake would really scratch that itch. You'd just be eating it and you'd be depressed because this isn't even real cake. Okay. So now just time to whip up some frosting and I'm going to sit on my stool and look at my tablet and figure out my frosting recipe. Nice tea, y'all. Thanks, Adam. I'm looking forward to that iced tea. I hope it's good. I don't know if I'm supposed to sweeten it or not. I don't know if I'm supposed to have those like sugar in them. So I want a buttercream frosting, which should be pretty easy because you're just, just like icing sugar and then like milk or cream and that's like it. Maybe some butter. But I want to decorate with it, so I think it needs to be a little stiffer. Buttercream frosting recipe. See, this, this looks pretty when this person did it. They used to decorate weddings. What sort of 
they're not using anything fancy. So butter, sugar, salt, vanilla. I can do that. Two and a half cups. That should be two and a half cups should be like a lot. I guess it has to go in all the cookies. Felt the caramel with the frosting? Nah. We're, we're putting frosting on frosting. Um, because they're so sweet, I don't think I'm gonna like cover the whole thing with like a really thick layer like I did with the carrot cake. I think we're gonna like pipe some like flowers or something on it. But I've never piped a, a frosting flower before in my life. So these are gonna look real bad. Alright, so I need to soften but not melted. One cup, two sticks of softened butter, some icing sugar, salt. Okay. Here's a short tutorial video. Alright, this lady said looks like she's talking about. Does she haven't been commenting on this? Hand in the iced tea. She is. What have I missed? What in tarnation? Yeah. I'm not quite sure what's up with that. So, tea butters. I'm gonna just microwave those. It says soften but not melted. So I'm gonna microwave them for like a little bit, but not like a lot. because it says milk or cream, so I figure I'm going to compromise with some half and half. Uh, a little bit of vanilla, and then, of course, our powdered sugar. I have, like, one and a half bags, I'm sure it's going This big old, big old mixy mixer. So, this bowl back. She put her hand in the fridge. I did put my hand in the fridge. That's true. What happened? Oh, my kettle's hot still. Let's move that a little bit. Butter with the mixer and then add the powdered sugar. Okay. So I can soften the butter, put it in the mixer, and then mix it until it's white. Warm, you know? You know. You know. I'm really upset about that song, I Can Make Your Hands Clap, because it can make your hands clap. I don't like being controlled like that. Oh man. Sometimes you just gotta clap your hands. Sometimes you just gotta do it. I, I do a thing where if I'm watching a show that I'm really enjoying, but I'm watching it like online or like on a stream, I'll like, whenever something happens that's really exciting, I'll like clap along and then I'll realize I'm clapping to myself like on my couch by myself. I'm like, you know what, never mind. I'm having fun. Fight me. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Hazel. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hazel. Uh, you're um, Avalon on Chihilo. Oh, my guild name. Um, we're Carbon. We're Carbon Guild. Although I should publicly announce that we are not recruiting. Um, so please do not try to join my guild because we are not looking for people and we are not accepting anybody that tries to join in spite of that. It's just, it's just, we're, just we're closed. We're closed for recruitment. Um, don't let that beat control your feet. I mean, it depends on what you're doing. If you are driving, then maybe don't like start clapping your hands. But if you're just like hanging out, I say you follow your heart. Alright, so this, I'm gonna give this like 15 seconds. 20 seconds. Also, let me get this one out of the pan. Should be soft and lost anyways. Alright, I'm done 
hard as I would last time because I have a stool to sit down in between, but I always get really sleepy after the whole baking thing. It makes me kind of like, kind of want to flop over and just like take a really oddly time nap. Did you see the screenshot I posted on Guild Discord? Um, if you're talking about not recently, but like last week, then yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just had a good laugh over that one. Uh, I always clap to the Friends theme, you know the spot? Well, yeah, of course I know the spot. I haven't watched Friends in a while. I feel like the next time I go back and watch it, it's going to have really dated itself. It, does, it dates itself a little more every time, but it's been a few years since I've seen it now, so it's going to really take itself back. I haven't been able to watch it because I, I burnt myself out and I've seen each episode at least 10 times to the point where I know all the words and it, I, can't, I can't do it anymore. Right. So they want me to sift the powdered sugar and I guess I will because they said they put in capital letters so I guess it's important. find out. Yeah, apparently Hush, Hush gave them a very solid answer. Here comes your cranky kitty. Oh man. Challenge you for a cupcake, ice cream team limited, I don't know. Never meet you with your hips. Yeah. Can I add you as a friend in WoW? I don't I don't do friend requests in WoW anymore. I actually had to do something that I'm not really happy about, but um, I get a lot of really nice whispers from people, but I also <coughs> sort of mission cups. I also get some whispers that are less nice. And they happen like a lot. And it was starting to wear me down just like it, it was just starting to wear me down. So I had to install an add-on that actually filters whispers from anybody that's not on my friends list. So um, I don't get whispers from random people in WoW anymore. Which is a little bit sad because most of them were really friendly. But it's, it was something I had to do for my own peace of mind. And being able to just like log on WoW and just like chill out in the evening without having to read something I didn't want to read. So apologies if anybody's been trying to reach me in WoW. But if you want to uh, reach me, your best bet is to tweet me, um, or to... Sure, sure. But yeah, tweet, tweet, tweet is a good one. Phone typos are fun. Oh, what did you phone typo? Hello guys, up, son? So I want me to have three to four cups of icing sugar. So I figured we start with three, and then we see what the consistency is. We want a fairly firm icing, because it's already kind of warm out, and because I'm, I'm trying to decorate, and I can't wait to show you guys like the decorating stuff I got. I asked my husband to pick me up, um, you know they have like those little kits at the grocery store that have just like a couple of decorating tips and like some disposable pegging bags? I asked him to pick me up one of those, and what he comes back with is like this crazy kit with like reusable squeeze bottles. Um, I'll show you, I'll show you in a second, but I need to, get, it says I should sift in three cups of sugar, so we're going to start with that. Really awkward. Should I just take? No, I can't take all that. This works. Thick icing. Yeah, we want real thick icing. With two seats. This is not working. I need to hold this bit better. I need to get this out. Darn, I've, I've put myself in a bit of a. You know what? Let's. Should I use another bowl? I don't know if other bowls. <laughs> I said I wouldn't need another bowl, and now I do. Should I use... I guess I can just use something. But I'll wash it again. Whatever. I'm just going to sit it on here and dump it. Because I don't have enough... I don't have enough shaking room over that one. 
Are you trying to type in my phone? But I do every Friday. Yeah, I don't type in my phone much. I type when I'm texting, but I'm so slow. If I'm at home, what I prefer to do is I'll just grab my tablet and then I actually have a little Bluetooth keyboard for it. And because I can answer all my text messages and whatever on my iPad, I just do that instead. I'll just like type with an actual keyboard because I'm so bad at the, at the finger typing. Somebody told me I would get better once. I haven't really gotten any better. I was one of the last holdouts using a phone. I had an LG Rumor with like a physical keyboard. I was one of the last holdouts using one of those phones before I finally broke it on my phone. That was one cup. This is going to be two cups. I'm just going to throw a third one in there. So messy. This is gonna be such a long vlog. We've been—I guess we've only been up for like an hour and forty-six, and we're not like done, but we're like getting there. We're gonna make this, and then we're gonna decorate. I didn't get really much to decorate with aside from just icing. I don't really have any sprinkles. Should have got some sprinkles. I have white chocolate chips. I guess I could put a couple of those on top, but they might be kind of stale. I hope it was real important that I sift this because we're sifting. We're sifting. I'm making a big mess. I'm gonna have to like clean my plate. Okay. It's like so much to sift. Also, I somehow have butter on the side because I didn't realize that. I guess I put it in there. That's probably my, my mixed, mixed up butter. <sighs> During your posts on Friday, I have to have my right arm immobilized, and I'm right-handed, so it makes... During your posts on Friday, why is your right arm immobilized? Or immobilized? I don't understand. Do you, like, regularly give blood during my streams on Fridays? Because if so, that's a very noble thing to do. I need to get out this all in there. I'm just kind of scooping as it is. I have a thing that like goes over the top of it that's supposed to like filter the stuff in, but I feel like it makes a bigger mess than it was. Alright, so it says turn it on real slow. I guess I gotta put the bowl up. Turn it on real slow. Let it do its thing for a while. I don't think I really need to measure anymore. Hmm. Oh, immobilized. You're a dialysis patient. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. That sucks. That you have to, they have to do that every week. But I'm glad that you have something to watch. I was gonna say, put your hand in the sifter, but is that dangerous? Not really dangerous. It doesn't. I mean, putting my hand in a mixer would be real bad. But like the sifter, it doesn't really. It doesn't do anything unless I do it. It can be so. She's in a cloud. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna need another shower later. I feel like I have um, icing sugar in my hair. I need to add vanilla salt. Okay, I need to add vanilla salt, two tablespoons of cream, and then beat for three minutes. If it needs a more stiff consistency, add the remaining sugar. Okay. Two tablespoons of cream, vanilla, how much vanilla? One tablespoon. That's a lot of vanilla. That is a bunch of vanilla. All right. Let's put a good handle on this. I think I'm going to need a mop. Thankfully. One tablespoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of cream. Which I can then put back in the fridge. If you had a flexible cutting board, you could rubber band it in the sifter, sift into the bowl. Yeah, that would make sense. I don't have a flexible cutting board though. I, I just have one big plastic one. One. A little much for the back too. And it also wanted salt. How much salt? Quarter teaspoon.
So it says beat for three minutes. It's just gonna be kind of, I don't know if it's that loud for you guys, but it's real loud for me. I feel like I can't even hear myself. Putting away my dishes while I wait. Um, I was wondering how you started out on YouTube. I've tried, but I was so nervous when I tried and just deleting my bids instead of posting them. Well, I started, I started out on YouTube. Here, I'm gonna put this up here so hopefully you can hear me a little better over the mixer. I started on YouTube because I had a bunch of time on my hands that I needed to film. I was living in America, but not legally able to work for a six month period then. I mean, something to do. Um, as far as being nervous and, and deleting your videos instead of posting them, you just gotta kind of, like my first videos, and they're still up, you can go way back to my channel, the very first ones, and watch them, and they're bad. Like, the sound is bad, the video is bad, the editing is bad, the writing is bad, they're really cringy, they're super cringy, and I'm tempted to delete them still, but they're still up there. And you just gotta kind of accept that your videos, they might be good, but they're probably going to suck because you haven't made very many yet. And you should just put them out. Let them be what they're gonna be. Some people are gonna like them, some people aren't, and that's fine. And just like keep making them. And every time you do one, you can watch it and be like, I don't like the way I did this thing, I wanted to work on this thing. And just like pick one thing to work on and make that better in your next video. And as long as you're making them regularly and you keep going, and you keep doing it, eventually you're gonna wake up and it's gonna be four years later and you're gonna have a bunch of people watching you bake cupcakes for no reason. You just gotta you just gotta accept that it's not gonna be perfect and it's like it's better to just do it and not be perfect and make bad videos. Like, making bad videos is much better than not making any videos. Like, you just gotta kind of do it. And that goes for most things. That goes for most things. Did you get started with Don't Starve? I did, actually. I, uh, I really like Don't Starve, so I started Let's Play Don't Starve way back in the day. That's, those are my very first videos. Watch my very first Don't Starve Let's Play. I'm really, like, shy in it. You can tell that I, like, don't want to be on microphone. I'm very quiet. Super, super shy and quiet noodle. Also, I used to say, like, hello, internet, which I re later realized was real dumb. Um, kind of dorky. I guess it was kind of cute, but, like, we don't do that anymore. Sure, we've moved on. I'm glad you did start to YouTube. Hazel and Linus Tech Tips are the only two YouTube channels I've been brought to. Oh, I actually want to make more tech videos. I really like doing that one on the, um, G600, G13 rather, versus the Razer or Weaver. I really liked making that comparison video, and I want to make more videos like that. I have a whole list of ones that I want to do. Um, I'm just getting through the rest of the patch stuff, and then I was thinking of doing like one tech video per week, because I really like consumer tech, and I love talking about it. And I have a bunch of stuff that I want to review, and I like the idea of making reviews of stuff that I've been using for years, so that I've like found that thing that goes wrong with it, or that it does funny, that you don't find out within the first Okay, so, so they say, um, if it needs to be stiffer, add sugar. Does it need to be stiffer? I'm gonna make it a little stiffer, because I'm gonna, I'm trying to shape it, and it's already kind of warm, so I'm gonna add some more sugar. Also, I guess I can shape it. Yeah, it definitely needs to be stiffer. I'm gonna add a lot more sugar. It's good, though. That is a nice tasting frosting. Also, we're gonna, we're gonna color it. Um, I wish I had the ability to make like a real-time poll so that you guys could like vote on what color it's going to be, but I think I'm just going to pick. What we got? Pink, purple, blue, or green? I'm going to rule out green. I'm going to rule out blue. I think I'm going to do pink. I like pink with like a chocolate cupcake. That's like my dream cake. When I was a little kid, I always used to dream about having for a birthday cake a triple layer chocolate cake with pink frosting and like sprinkles. Like that was a thing to have. So I'm gonna make something kind of like that. Remember back when Hazel played Amnesia? Oh man. So I'm actually gonna go through, I was gonna do this a lot last week but I didn't have any time. As soon as I get like a little bit of time on my hands, um, cause I've been actually quite busy. I wanna go through my playlist 
and clean those up. I think I'm going to consolidate all the Let's Plays into one mega playlist. Because I think you'll still be able to find what you're looking for. And I have way too many playlists. I need to make the numbers smaller so people can actually find the relevant ones that they're looking for. I remember when four colors was a lot for a computer. I don't. <laughs> I am not that old. I'm not saying that you're old, but I, I'm not. We walk to school uphill. I remember when this was all healed. Oh man. Do you recommend recording software? I've used my phone in fraps. I've made two videos for pet battles, but I do a lot of things. Yes. So you want to use OBS. Um, OBS is free and it's awesome. And I have a guide. I have a beginner OBS guide that will get you started with recording with OBS. It is what I use for streaming right now. It's what I use for all of my videos. Um, it has the most options as far as like frame rate and resolution and codecs and stuff. And it also um, is very easy to get started with. So OBS is what you want to use for recording software. Um, for audio, I would recommend using Audacity. That's free. Um, I don't have any guides yet, but I'm going to make one, actually. I, that's on my list of things to do. But that's what I use to record my voice, because you can edit. You can, like, boost your bass in treble. You can compress it. You can do all sorts of stuff. So I'll do a guide for that. Scrapple. Yeah, I'm lazy. I think I just want to make pink frosting. Oh, that's, how's this doing? Oh, good. How do I stiffen it up? Should I add some cream of tartar, or is that just going to, like, ruin everything? Because this is still, like, a very soft frosting. I know it'll stiffen up like when it gets cold, but I think I might go ahead and add a little bit. I feel like this is what I add to icing to make it stiffer. To quarter. Yeah, just like a little bit. I need a little spin. It's probably terrible. The spoon doesn't even do it. The end of the spoon. Okay. I have like a lot of frosting. I'm gonna use like that. It's pink and purple to make magenta. Oh yeah, I forgot. We gotta do the colors. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna mix pink purple. I am gonna do that. That's something good to do. Let's grab my purple here. Hazel quick, the floor is level. <laughs> oh man, OBS. Yeah, OBS is easy and it's free. Um, and it's better than fraps, honestly. I have fraps too and I haven't used it since I got OBS. Creamy tartar? Yeah, we're gonna see if that's a bad idea or not later. But I'm just trying to stick this up a little bit. It's, it's mostly because it's really warm in here. Good enough That is good enough. So now, if you've not watched Mikey Bolts, I highly recommend it. Mikey Bolts. I've never heard of Mikey Bolts. I always thought you I thought you always put cream of tartar in Butterfree. You put cream of tartar in Royal Frosting? I don't know about I've never this is the first time I've ever done it, but it looks like a good idea. Eating a tasty cupcake makes you happy, reminds me of the ICC recipe. I was looking for the screenshot. I guess I should have looked on my character's cooking recipes, but I couldn't, I was looking just like online in Google Images for the screenshot of the thumbnail of that, and I couldn't find it. Um, because I wanted to use it in like the, the thumbnail of the video or whatever. I guess I still have time. Okay, so I need to clean up my space a little bit, unclip myself, and we're going to get ready to frost some cupcakes, because those are cool and ready to go. There's a good reason I haven't done a Just Dance screen because I cannot dance. For somebody who took many years of dance lessons, it's remarkable that I can't dance. It'd be like the most awkward, non sexy thing in the whole time. This, I 
can't wait to show you guys these like weird squeezy bottles that I've got. Hopefully they work. We're gonna find out anyway. tips that you can like interchange and you can like squeeze it. This is probably a terrible idea but I have it so I'm gonna try it. Mikey Bolts does impersonations of family guy. Oh cool. Hearthstone cupcakes? When you see my my decorating skills you're gonna understand how unrealistic Hearthstone cupcakes is. If I do these streams long enough to get decent at baking and or cake decorating we can talk about it but for now these are gonna be like not Hearthstone cupcakes. Hang on I need to get this thing even lower. Um, I'm gonna just take this off. Sorry, don't don't mind me. I'm moving kind of obviously. I have it on like a little itty bitty tripod, but I want these to be like cupcake. Almost cupcake level. Maybe not quite cupcake level. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that off at all. There's no way to do it. Hazelception. Hazel needs a headcam. You can see my head right here. Alright, close enough. If it looks like they're falling apart, it's because some of them have tragic bottom issues. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm just gonna eat that. Alright, buddy. You're a little bit of a couple now. Hang on. Um, I wanna, what type do I want to do? I have a couple different tips. I figure I want to do... I want to drop it. I want to do, like... Big rosettes. This should be easy. How hard can this be? So I need to spoon some icing into the thingy bottle. Oh, I moved my hand. Oh, sorry. Hazel Witch Project. <laughs> Go in. I foresee this being a problem. Supposedly they're dishwasher safe, thank goodness. Otherwise, I would never get this thing in a million years. I think I need a smaller spoon for this. Or like a small stick. We may end up just like slathering it on the other one and then like rosetting the edges. We'll see. I've never done this. I've never used this before. Alright, so I just like seal it, yeah, bottle it, squeezy bottle. And then say our poor little friend. like a little, uh, you can't see, it's too bright. I'll take good pictures of these later. Oh, it works! I'm not going to spend too much time on that one because he's, he's done, he's falling over. This isn't a very big tip though. So, I've never really decorated anything. So, I'm not going to be very good at this at first, but I also never had the tools, so maybe that was all. The camera, like, I would switch the camera to make the other one big enough, but I think there's too much glare for you to really see. Let's see if I can show you from the top. Yeah, look at my little cupcake. Hopefully I have enough icing. Also, oh, I was stuck my finger at camera. Uh, when exactly can I expect to receive my cupcake in the mail? Oh, man. Oh, these are super cute looking. I want to try out the other tips. Should we do all the tips? Oh, I should have made um, I should have made it in different colors. Oh man, we're gonna need to do like a mega cake decorating stream one time. Like, dude, just do a big old cake. You know those mirror glazes? I want to try that. I want to try and make a mirror glaze cake at some point too. I want 
bottle, I'm going to do all the cute cake decoration stuff. Like, this isn't so hard. I actually really like the squeezy bottle. This seems easier than the bag. And if it really is just dishwasher, then it means I don't have to buy the reposable bags. I wonder if I'm going to get sick of doing this, though. Oh, no, stay on. Stay on there. Should I do the bigger ones? Let's try the different tips. What else we got? What else we got? We got, like, a big leaf tip thing. Try that. I think I just unscrewed here. I'm late hazel, but they, these look good. I think they're going to be good. I'll have to try one later. Maybe at the end of the stream. I don't see why not. But, so I can put on this big leaf tip thing. I'm so excited. I never had this stuff to decorate. Okay. Also, I should probably refill this with something. Maybe this is a little... Oh! There we go. I don't know how this one works. That one just kind of blurbled on. It's too big. Alright, that one looks awful. <laughs> it's like a ribbon head, but I don't know how to use that one yet. I need to practice with that later. I like the rosette one better. And then the other one is a smaller rosette, and I think I don't want any smaller, so I'm just going to go back to the first one. Bright red mirror glaze makes anything sexy. I wonder if you could put the tripod in one of the cabinets. In the cabinet? There's no room in my cabinets. My cabinets are stuffed with tea. I would have to take it like 45 things of tea. Alright, so I'm going to put more icing in this thing. This thing which I doubted, but I shouldn't have because it's awesome. Okay. Get in there. I need, I need a little pokey. A little pokey. Get in there. Come on. It's like, it's very small. There's a bigger bottle, but the bigger one doesn't have like the squeezy ridges, and I feel like the squeezy ridges are an important part of the design of this product. Mm. Did you cry during the end of the Ball Shirok West line? Not really. I can't really say that any part of Wild Wars ever made me cry. I'm not really invested enough in it. It was a little bit sad. I was a little surprised that they did that, but I don't think I was really in tears. Oh, man. Okay. So, we're going back. Should I do, like, a... What happens if I do it in, like, one big thing? And I go, like, Sorry, sound effect. One big. These are super ridiculous looking. These are like, like, they look like they belong on, um, I guess I can give this one guy some, some love. They look like they belong on, um, the cover of, like, an anime video game with really cute, probably underage girls on the front. That are just like doing something in high school, but like with like flower petals and cupcakes. Like this is that cupcake. These are gonna be way too girly for my husband to take into work. He's not gonna be able to take these in. I mean, maybe he will. I don't know. We'll find out. I like the the series of little things. I want to learn how to make like the roses, but I think I need another tip for that. I figured out how Patreon messages work. All right, cool. Well, I asked you for your address, but I realized after the fact that I already have it, so don't worry about that. Um, I, ha I can see it from when you input it during Patreon. I was just dumb. This is the first time I've ever actually mailed anything to anyone, so I'm still figuring everything out. I went all around town yesterday trying to find anybody that could make me 4x6 prints in, like, small numbers, and they're like, no, you need to buy 100 of them. So I think I just have to get a printer and do them myself. And I think that's what I'm going to do, because that's also going to save some time. If I have to, like, buy online prints and then get them to ship to me and then ship them out to you guys, you're not going to get them until, like, a month and a half later. So I'm just going to get my prints. So if I, like, squeeze it out, it makes it easier to put more of the ice in. There we go. It's kind of hard to get into all the corners, but this thing does seem to work pretty good. It's just a little bit tough to put icing into. A little bit messy to use, but I don't think it's any messier than an icing bag, and this means I don't necessarily have to keep replacing it. I already replied to everything in one go. All right, cool. If you have questions that might be able to help, I've tinkered around with cakes and baking a lot. You went through a baking thing. Okay. I think I'm doing okay for now, but when I eventually get around to, like, mirror glazing and stuff, I'm going to be lost. I'm going to be super lost. So I need to work fast because it's warm and I need to get them in the fridge so that the icing can, like, solidify. Yeah, that's good. I like the little dots around the edge of it. I'll take some better pictures with my camera, and then um, probably Instagram and tweet them, so if you guys want to take a better look at these later, because the camera sucks, um, I'll have that out later today. I don't know if 
we're going to get this fancy with the big cake. Maybe I should send the big cake in with him and then I keep all the cupcakes. I could freeze them. Oh yeah, you can freeze cupcakes. That'll let me know. Look, look, I can be so fast with this thing. The slowest part is like adding an icing. Ugh. It's like, it's making farting noises. I promise it's the icing thing. It's got like some air in it. I need to read, I need to top it up. Popping by, hope the cupcakes turned out well. They look like they're going to be pretty good. I, I had a bit of the cupcake that fell off the bottom of one of the ones that turned into a cripple, and that was very delicious. So I don't see how it could have been made worse by adding caramel sauce and no uh, pink butter consistency in like little cute, little cute little flower bits. I feel like eating sweets is better when they're adorable. I've never had like a really manly presented sweet and was like, oh man, I need to eat that cupcake that's like shaped like a moose. Give it. Although people around Portland love their bacon maple donuts. They love putting bacon on donuts. I mean, follow your heart, but not for me. Not, not for me. Get in there. Ugh. Oh man. I look great. If you need reassuring, just Google Pinterest fails. Okay, I probably will. It's, it's the first time I've really tried, a, like, cake decorating. Usually I just kind of, like, smear icing on and then, like, hurl sprinkles at it. So this is a lot fancier than normal. I want to do it with different colors of icing, though, which means I would need to, like, separate it. I guess it's pretty easy to stir in the, um, the food coloring. So I could, like, I have three bottles here. I could separate into three bottles and then decorate with three different colors. Alright, now that I've got a bunch of cute little buttercream frosted chocolate caramel cupcakes. Mm. Oh man, the poor one that I tried the other tip on looks so sad. I don't know how to help him. He's just done looking. <laughs> He's just gonna look down. Another one. So this is like, it turned out very flat because I didn't have a lot of cake left over. So it's like a pancake cake. Kind of. I figure. Figure what I'm gonna do. And then maybe I just like take because it also the kid also included these little cake spatula things. I figure I just smear on and then try and sort of flatten out with this cake flattener thing. A, a very thin layer of icing, and then I can go around the edges and do little, little decorative loops. So I figure I just like glop it on there to start. It, I don't need a lot of frosting because there's not a whole lot of cake there, so it can be a very thin layer of frosting. It just needs to cover up like the, the outsides of it. Oh no. Oh, maybe I was supposed to use this thing to put the thing in the little bottle. That would make sense. A giant swirly. I don't think I have enough icing to do a giant swirly. I think I need to get this stuff pretty thin. So. This is very whipped. I think I mixed the buttercream frosting like a little bit too long because this is looking pretty fluffy. And don't get me wrong, the fluff is good. It's a good fluff. Pretty thin, pretty flat. I need a little more. A little more. if I had a cake spinner, it would be much easier to, like, spin the cake. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> to, like, decorate all the different sides of it. This, this way I'm going to be, like, crank, cranking around the edge of it. I gotta get those drawings made for that guy. I actually, after WWDC yesterday, when I figured out they weren't going to be making any hardware upgrades to the Apple Pencil, they are just upgrading the tablet instead, um, I went and draw an Apple Pencil. Cause I, I have an iPad Pro, but I don't have an Apple Pencil. I've been putting it off. But I want to use them for the Patreon drawings so that I can actually draw away from my desk. Because I spend so much time at my desk, sometimes I want to get out of my chair. <laughs> so I also kind of want to get the sides a little bit. And I figure we're going to do like a little gloopy border on like the top corner. I also I haven't really planned how to get this on like a plate or something, but we'll sort that out later. This looks like a really short cake for like a baby shower or something. Except that I don't know anybody with any babies. There's nobody nearby. Or anybody with babies. And I think it would be very rude to just like 
go find somebody that looks like they're about to have babies and be like, hey, you want like a free cape? Like, I don't think you're supposed to do that. I feel like that would be a great way to get smacked in public. It's kind of hard to get the edge of it, actually. I guess it doesn't need to go all the way down. I want it to be like pretty smooth. It doesn't need to be like flat, flat. Supposedly they have like cake plates that you use for that, but like smooth it out. to be like kind of also I probably should have saved some of this to put into this thing. I'm gonna need to make some glutes and I don't know if I have enough to make glutes. Let's try let's try some glutes. Ah, I have a good bit. But it's making like good 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 just around like the edge. Good like glutes. Little baby little glutes. This is gonna be the most feminine cake in the planet. I know I can do like a big long strand and that would be fun too, but I've very much gotten into the little the little flowery glutes. Kinda hard to stop doing them once you started. It's so much fun with this glute bottle. Oh, it's starting to run out. It's starting to run out, I don't really have a lot more frosting. Although I'm glad that the frosting must be made an appropriate amount of frosting, because last time I made the carrot cake I had way too much frosting. Is that a little more? Should I do like a little circle? Maybe like a couple of like dots, like a little polka dot, little bits. I want to do a heart, but it's gonna look kind of looking deep. So I'm just gonna do like some extra dots. Dots, dots, dots. One in the center. Yeah. Look at that cake. It's not really well frosted on the sides, but that's fine. I didn't even expect to have an extra cake. I have, more, I have more of this. I guess I just put it down. I just I guess I just put the frosting down and walk away. So I I guess I have to eat one now, huh? I want my class now. You should be able to get it tonight. Question about your first videos. Your voice is deeper in the beginning. Is that due to audio equipment? You being uncomfortable or something you worked on? Probably a little bit of all three. Um, I used a different mic at first. So my voice would have been deeper because, it might have been deeper because of my old headset mic. Um, I got squeakier as time went on, just because I think I was happier and less uncomfortable, and also because people like the squeaky, so I don't tone it down. And then, uh, I made, like, honestly, when I changed my, when I started editing my audio, I actually boost my bass and treble up, so my voice is artificially deeper than it sounds in real life, like when I actually edit it in videos, not, not on the stream, but just in videos. But yeah, I don't know. It's about a thousand percent better than my cake frosting skills. You just need a little gloopy bottle. The gloopy bottle was all the thing. So I guess I'm gonna like pour myself a little glass of milk and sit down and have a cupcake. A little glass of milk. And then, ooh, that looks So I figure I'm gonna eat the Gimpy McGimpy one because, um, I don't know, here I'll show you. So this is what the cute one looks like. Cute ones look like that. I know it's really bright so it's hard to see, but it's just like a cupcake with like little, little rivets in the top. And then Gimpy McGimp face, is it better to see over here? He looks like that. Gimpy McGimp face looks dumb. I didn't figure I'd do that yet, so I'm just gonna eat this one and pretend it never happened. You make me and mom happy? Aw. I talk fine, but once I hit record, I forget what I want to say and develop stutter and fight off anxiety attack. It's hard. It's very hard. Like, it becomes a hundred times, well, not a hundred times, but it becomes significantly harder to do what you originally planned to do as soon as you're recording. Like, you become, like, 10% dumber, like, instantly, because it's just, there's a part of your brain that knows that you're on camera, and that part of the brain is not helping you with anything that you're doing. I am going to share a culture. I can't keep Maybe you'll send me some of that. Oh man, one to ten taste test. I gotta get a good bite of the whole thing. How thirsty. Oh, look, brown. Part of my language. 
really sweet cupcake. It's good. It's quite sugary. It's good though. Pet frosting is way better than the stuff you get in the cans. I don't know how they managed to mess up can frosting, but this is better. Have you opened your drawer? Oh, sorry. I'm really bad for leaving drawers and covers open. I go through and close them all at the end of the day usually, but during the day, usually half of them are open and I always break them. Ten points if you get frosting on her nose? I would. But yeah, it's got, it's got like the right amount of caramel in the middle. Your mouth was grim? Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, sorry. Look, we made food. Ten cupcakes. Is a little fancy. She extends her thinking of working. Do I really? Oh no. Oh crap, I do. Pardon me, my language is going off the rails. I've been streaming for too long. I need to stop. I didn't know I did that. Normally, when I eat a cupcake, I tear it in half and make a cupcake sandwich. It's easier to eat. That's actually a good idea. These ones, though, are like a little bit softer in the middle because of the caramel filling. So I don't know if I would do it with a fifth cupcake. Is the sugar hard? Probably? Mm -hmm. That's my excuse. I'm not going to worry about it too much because there are many worse words that I could have said, so I'm just going to eat my cupcake. Oh, that'd be cute. This would be a cute thing to eat like at a cafe with like a little coffee at like a date. That's how I imagine like coffee dates go to Japan. I imagine they get just like ridiculously cute pink desserts. And like a little espresso. And they just like awkwardly sit over their cute cake and espresso. I may have been watching too many Korean dramas. They do that a lot in those. <laughs> oh, my be messy? It's gonna be a little messy. Oh. I'm going to my Oh, the rich. I cannot keep all of these. I'm gonna freeze, I think, some of the cupcakes for later. And then that cake is gonna be sent into work. We're not keeping that. <laughs> There's gonna be an office full of people that will get to share that cake with you. The milk is important. I feel bad for anybody that is able to eat chocolate but is like lactose intolerant because I feel like milk is a very important like component of the whole thing. One shot of coffee. <laughs> Anyway, you make me fall Hazel, thank you so much. Well, thanks for coming. I'm done. I'm gonna clean up my kitchen and then probably like pass out for an hour. <laughs> um, thank you so much for coming. If you want to see better photos of these cupcakes and stuff, I'm gonna take some pictures with my nice camera and then put them on Twitter and Instagram. So uh, follow me on those places. It's Hazelnutty Games on Twitter and Hazelnutty Life on Instagram. If you want to see the pictures, um, we're gonna be doing another baking stream on the 19th, so on two mon Monday? Monday the 19th? Tuesday the 19th. Monday the 19th? Tuesday the 19th. Monday the 19th. Monday the 19th? On June 19th, anyways. Um, we're going to be doing a morning baking stream where we're going to make Moser's Magnificent Muffins. Um, that stream's going to start at 10 a.m. So uh, I'm going to be fully looking, but it'll be fine. That should be enough time for me to get all my stuff together. And uh, the VOD of this stream is going to go out tomorrow with the recipe in the description. So if you want to make this, then I will tell you all about it in like an actual written form uh, tomorrow. So thank you guys for coming. I will see you again live on Friday with the WAP stream. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.